Uh, good morning. I'm Sebastian Anthony for Extreme Tech. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, Steam in-home gaming or in-house in streaming. Um, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, I have Steam on my client computer, a MacBook Pro. I have Steam on my host, which is a Windows 8 big beefy gaming rig. Um, they're both on the same network. Um, this is actually wireless. Um, that's wired over gigabit. Um, but this is uh, 802.11ac, um, so it's a three or four hundred megabit uh, wireless link, which should be more than fine. Um, I've tested it beforehand, and it's fine. Um, I did try it on 802.11g. Uh, um, it wasn't so good, um, so you will need a good wireless connection or a good wired connection. Um, to start, um, all you need to do is you go to Steam on your client computer. The play button becomes a play or stream button and you just click stream. You'll see Dota start on the desktop. You can see sound is being piped through the client. It's not playing through the main speakers. And there you go, pretty simple. Um, once it's in, um, the desktop is still, you can still control everything on the desktop. So, I can play over here. You can see the latency is pretty good. Um, I can also control it on the desktop. Curiously, I can also Alt-Tab on the desktop. So I can bring Chrome up, for example. It, it really is just streaming the entire desktop of my main display. Um, it's, uh, which, as you can imagine, can be used for some interesting things, like non-Steam games, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, yeah, so that's playing a game. I mean, I can show you... Uh, you can see the latency is pretty good. Uh, the quality is pretty good. Um, walking around, um, the quality does waver a little bit, um, but it really does look... I mean, on this gigabit and, you know, uh, wireless AC network, the quality really is good. I mean, it looks, you can't tell on the video, but it looks like the real thing. Like, there are maybe a little bit of JPEG artifacting, um, but it's minimal. APMs. I will win the international. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, now I'm going to show you another fun demo. I'm going to play... Dota's available on Mac and Windows. Um, I'm going to play a game that's only available on Windows. Dark Souls 2. Which is a very, very good game. I finished it yesterday. I am officially hardcore. And in this, I'm going to use my Xbox gamepad which is connected to the PC, um, but it's just streaming the desktop to the laptop, so it works fine, as long as you're within range of this. The, the range on this is pretty long, about 10 meters maybe. And here you can see the latency. I'll just show you a quick example. And obviously latency is a big issue with game streaming. Um, in the land though, where you know the latency is a few milliseconds, it's really not an issue. But I'll show you. If you look how close the two displays are, you'll really struggle to see any discernible difference. Pretty impressive, huh? Okay, and I'm just going to show you one more quick fun demo. So using the streaming to do a non-Steam game. So I've just alt tab now, so you see my desktop. Don't look for my porn, there is none. And now I'm just going to bring up South Park. You can see I've left, I've left Dark Souls running in the background. I should have closed it.
but I'm lazy. And there you go, there's a non-steam game. And this is, it has an unskippable intro sequence, the worst thing about the game. This is also playable with the gamepad. Oh, I probably can't show you this in a live video because I'm holding a very unfortunate weapon, so we'll just close that now. Okay, uh, that was uh, Steam in-house streaming. I'm actually going to show you one more demo, but I need to cut to another scene for that, so one second. And uh, just before I go, I wanted to show you that it is indeed now possible to play Dark Souls 2, or indeed Dota or South Park from your bathroom. Obviously I wasn't actually going to take a dump live on video, um, but I thought this was a fairly sanitary way to show you that, you know, my gamepad does reach to my PC downstairs and that the latency is still pretty good. Can I show you? And this has been Sebastian Anthony for Extreme Tech playing video games from his bathroom. Thank you, Gaben. Thank you, Steam in-house game streaming. Goodbye.